gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here at Talker once again. We have uh, Jeremiah Johnson with us. Thank you for coming on to our show. How are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling a little nervous. I know you've been a busy man lately, right? Uh, yes, has that kicked in yet? Or? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people say that you don't look your age. Does that make you feel a certain type of way? Or what, no. what's your opinion on that? I know I don't look my, like my age. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't really offend me. There was a there was a clip where they I think it was either a picture or something where they said that they thought you might have even had a tattoo or something. Can oh. you talk about the tattoo moment? Or yeah, it was fake. See, it was, I told yeah. them I said I don't know if that's real or if that's fake or, but it definitely caught a lot of people's eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I've dug your name up on on Google and there was a birth certificate that popped up under your name that said born in 1989. Is there any truth <laughs> to that? Or no, it's not. It's not, it's not true. <laughs> Do you get memes or jokes or things like that a lot yeah. right now with your age? And, yeah, they're funny. You know, and, and when I first saw the clips come out, it definitely, uh, I mean, you look bigger than, than, you know, most of the kids. But these days, there's so many uh, like Tongans, Samoans, and there's other kids, too, that are pretty big, yeah, too. Big. So it's not like you're the only kid out there. I think it was just you being 12 years old that kind of threw everybody off guard a little bit. Can you talk a little bit more about some of your accomplishments? Yeah, four-time Heisman winner, you know. That was my first YNC um, championship that I won. Mm -hmm. And you played running back? Yes, sir. Uh, your whole career you played running back? My whole career I played running back. Okay. And I see sometimes you'll get the breakaways and you'll just run and, and yeah. you know run people over. Are you more of a speed guy? Are you more of a power runner? Or what kind of running back would you say you are? I'm a, more of a power runner. Do you definitely see yourself making it to the NFL? Yes, I do. I see myself. Yeah. If you could choose one, I guess what would be your dream college? Uh, Texas Longhorns. Texas Longhorns stay yeah. here in Texas? Yeah. At what age did you notice that you might be a little bit taller than the other kids or just, you know, look a little older than the other kids in your school? Um, When I was eight, yeah. Uh, when did you first uh, grow the, the little bit of mustache and when things was... like that? I think that's what really throws people off. It's because without that, I'm sure, you know, you'd look 11, 12 years old, but with the mustache, it gives you this, like, 18, 19-year-old look. <laughs> Oh, uh, when I was six, I had started growing the most. At started. six? Mm -hmm. Wow. I, I didn't get mine until I was like 17. So six is a good, a good age. Do you feel like um, with the way your genetics are, do you think that by the time you reach uh, 19, 20 years old, that you'll even look older than a standard 20 year old? Or do you think eventually it'll catch up? Uh, probably. So. I don't know. Well, time will tell. Yeah, time will tell. Yeah. Do, do you ever feel like people are just trying to use you for your attention or do you feel like you're actually loving what you're doing and everything that's coming with the fame that just happened to you um i'm loving what i'm doing i don't i don't think no, no one's really trying to use me for yeah. the fame. I, and i think that's very important as long as you love it and you have the passion behind it mm -hmm. i think that's all that matters if it ever gets to a point where you don't want to go do something but you feel like you have to do it just because of the uh like the stardom behind it at that mm -hmm. point it might be time to reconsider some things but i feel like right now you're living the moment i mean what 12 year old wouldn't want their instagram blowing yeah. up dms blowing up likes comments all that right mm -hmm. um could you talk a little bit about what happened here uh instagram after the viral uh, yeah. post happened did it just start blowing up and never stop after it just it just started blowing up i got like i gained like 50 50 000 followers and it just started going up uh, from there and i saw you created a youtube which was very important you know just mm -hmm. to kind of capitalize off of it all and do you uh, do you care that that was the moment that blew up rather than maybe some of your plays, or it doesn't matter what uh, moment went viral as long as it's about you? As long as it's about me, I was just going to try to like take advantage of the fame and start like getting my clips out there mm -hmm. so they can notice me. How are my friends at uh, like your school friends, your football friends? Are they going wild right now yeah, with you and yeah. just kind of enjoying it all? They're enjoying it. Yeah, they're going wild, asking for pictures and yeah. getting stuff like that. Did it make you feel a little more famous around your friends right now? Uh, Yeah, but I mean, it don't really change nothing, though. They're still like yeah. regular friends. Do uh, people recognize you when you don't have your football gear on? Uh, Yes, they did. Um, they I went to the fr the star, like in Frisco. Uh-huh. Yeah, and um, they, like as soon as I walked in, I already knew who I was. And, yeah. Was, How'd that feel? It was crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You come back from Florida and all of a sudden, what's the first thing that you realize started to happen? Like I just started gaining followers and stuff in um, comments like on Facebook and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. 
and you saw that you're like, okay, at first you probably just looked at it as, okay, this is yeah, I didn't you know, think a little moment. And then it just kept going and going and going. Yes. I didn't, I didn't really, my, my dad and my mom told me that, um, you finna go viral. And I was like, what? I don't, I don't really think so. And then I was like, oh snap. I started getting followers and I was like, oh. Yeah, I'm really I'm going to go viral. Famous. Yeah. Does it make you feel like sometimes as a as a 12 year old, is it too much pressure on you? It's a little pressure, but I mean, you know, it's it's good experience for like when I get older and mm -hmm. have to do all this. Yeah. You know? Uh, what grade are you currently in? I'm in the eighth. In grade. eighth grade. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're still in middle school. Yes, sir. Uh, high school's coming up. Uh, football. I'm sure you know yeah. Texas football is ridiculous, right? Yes. It's one of the best in the country. Are you ready for that? Yes, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm sure with your talents and everything that you've been doing, you're probably already excited just to show the high school coaches and everybody that you really do have what it takes. Yeah. You know, what age did you start playing football in? Uh, probably like when I was four or five, I think. Also at a very young age, yeah. and you play at the highest level right now too, right? Yes. Sir. That's like uh, which division is that? Oh, D1, D1. D D one, right? And yeah. that's the best division in football. Yes, and sir. for and you won four time Heisman in that division. Yes, sir. Wow. And you guys play games all across the United States too, right? So you yes, play sir. against some of the best players in the world. Well, not in the world, but in the country. Mm -hmm. And you're still able to win some of the best awards that the program has to give. What about wow. like uh in middle school, all the girls are they all around you now? <laughs> Have you got any more, you know, girl attention and things like that? Or? Something like that. Yeah. yeah, it's starting to happen a little bit. I don't blame you. If when I was your age, if I could have had the attention that you have now, I, I would have found ways to, to capitalize on that. So I, I don't blame you at all. Yes, I'm ready. Yeah. Any dreams that you have if once you make it to the pros that, that you want to accomplish as far as, you know, uh, buying a house, a car? What are some like dreams that, you know, you play hard for every single day? Like I want to like when I make it, I want to buy my mom and dad a house and car and stuff. Okay. take care of them okay i'm sure that, that that's the best feeling in the world is just being able to take care of those that helped you know raise you take and help you get to where you are right now have you played football your whole life have you ever gotten into like basketball baseball have you ever tried any oh, other sports yeah i play basketball i played basketball a little bit but yeah, can you not, seem like you could be a good power yeah. forward maybe I'm not right the best, though no yeah what about when football uh you've never tried any other oh, positions than running back i run then? track too oh you run track too mm -hmm. What's your uh, 40 looking like? Oh, I haven't did that yet. You haven't done that yet? Okay. Uh, have you tried any other positions on uh, other than just being a running back? Uh, DN. How'd that work out for you? That's good, too. Doing good. How does uh, how does your defense feel at practice? Do they hate having to go up against you? Are they used to it now? or? Uh, they're used to it now. Yeah. Do you go easy on them? No. You still try they to don't go easy on them. They're still good. They're good, too. <laughs> what makes you want to wear the number 23? Uh, I mean... I wanted 32 because, like, my favorite running back. Mm -hmm. But um, they didn't have 32, so I did 23. And now that, I mean, you became pretty famously known with that number, do you plan on sticking to it? Or are you still going to go to 32 the first chance you get? Uh, I might stick with it, but I, I still like 23. I mean, 32. Is there something special behind the number 32? Uh, Jonathan Gray, that's his number. It, okay. Is that one of your favorite players? Yes, that's my favorite. What goes through your head that kind of gives you that motivation to, to kind of pick up and just turn turn another gear and just go out there and kill it? Is there something that clicks in your head that you yeah. look forward like to? I, just feel like, I feel like I got to make a play or something like mm -hmm. Yeah. Like and you kind of try to find that motivation in you. And uh, do you feel like as you get older and start to go into high school football that the uh, defensive side is going to get a little stronger and that, yes. you know, those, when you collide, you might not always win that battle and, yeah. you know, those hits might start to come in and, you know, with you you being a very big and strong running back, I'm sure they're always coming in full force to kind of try to lay you out as well. So you got to be always cautious and ready for it. Uh, have you taken any big hit, hits as of yet? Yeah, I have. You, you definitely felt those? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like, see, even, at, even with your size and everything, there's still somebody out there that if you can blindside you or if you're not ready for it, that, that could get that hit on you and you could definitely feel it coming. Mm -hmm. And what is it about the Longhorns that you like so much? Uh, that's my like family. That's they. They love that team. So yeah, I might as well do it. Do it for the family, right? Yeah. I mean, you just probably grew into it too. It's like what whatever the family likes, you start liking it too, and then it just kind of goes that way. Yeah. Anything else that you want to kind of let the world know out there about you that maybe they they didn't know or that they should know about you other than football? Do you have a do you have a soft spot for animals, cats, dogs, yeah. anything? Uh, I like dogs. Dogs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, uh, what kind of dogs are you into? Pugs. I want to pug. So pugs? Like, yeah. I'm yeah, they, they looked all mean and scary, but yeah. the minute you rub their little belly, they <laughs> easing yeah. up. 
<laughs> wow. If you could predict which team you could play for in the NFL, what's the one team that you want to play for? Hopefully Dallas Cowboys. Dallas Cowboys, okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, Jerry Jones, if you're listening, you know. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for coming on to our show. I'm sure your DMs are blowing up to go anywhere, so we appreciate that you chose us as the platform to do this interview with and to kind of tell your story a little bit. Um, do you have any shout-outs you want to give to your football team or anybody on there, your coaches yeah. or anybody? Shout-out that- to Coach Courtney. Um, shout-out to everyone who's supporting me. And, yeah. That's it. Yeah, no, I think your future is looking – Right. Uh, thank you once again for coming on to our show and uh, we'll revisit this soon, hopefully within a, a few months and kind of do a maybe round two to see how the future is looking for you and see how everything's going. Sounds good with me. Thank you so much, Talker Nation. Thank you guys for watching this interview with us uh, and we'll touch back soon. Y'all have a good night.